What a game last night. Let me tell you, almost doesn't count when the Miami Heat almost went to the NBA Finals. And at the same time, the Boston Celtics almost went home. Like, how does that happen at the exact same time? 0.2 seconds, I'll tell you that. Derek Dot White. <laughs> That's how it happened. When I say this is how you play through the buzzer, <laughs> there, uh, Doris Burke said it at the, she was being interviewed by somebody and she was like, this is what it looks like when you play through the buzzer. You, <laughs> the, the ball is still hot. <laughs> I was like, mm-hmm. oh my. It, that put back from me, the way it made me feel was the same way I felt when Kawhi Leonard had that four bounce. Oh, oh yeah. Of the yeah. 19. Mm-hmm. I said, and this is of recent, of course. I'm quite sure people can go back and, you know, get it all, they got all kind of iconic type um, end of buzzer plays that, you know, change the trajectory of things. I get it. But these two, as of late, were the two that I'm like, ooh. And it's so funny because how the ball just fell in his hands. It was just like he was just where he was supposed to be at the right time. I don't know. Mm-hmm. How, do you, how, do you, how do you plan for that? You don't. No, no, you don't. I mean, good for Derek White. And you know, you know, I always say he be prancing around on the court. But he is so <laughs> effective, though. <laughs> I can tell you right now, a lot of people wish they had a Derek White on their roster. Oh, he does prance. Yeah. That's yeah, yeah. funny. <laughs> Even after he made the buzzer beater, he like pranced to almost half court. Like it's in. It counts. Count it. Count it. Yes. You know, it run, was just, oh man, it was so funny. challenge. Challenge. <laughs> so like, I I know. Said, when it happened, I'm like, oh, he got that off because it was no red. He got it off. Mm-hmm. And Miami, the fan. Did you? You text me, Pete. <laughs> Puff Daddy dancing on the sideline. Did you see him? I mean, he was going until he had the shoulders going. I mean, Puff Daddy was feeling good. The whole arena, the whole arena thought they won. I ain't gonna I lie. thought they I thought did they too. Did too. I said, Mike, he going to too. the NBA final? Wow. 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 But you know what, Boston, when will you stop this? Why mm-hmm. y'all let people come back on you? Mm-hmm. I can't. It is, this right here is all of the, God be in the hands of the basketball gods because there is no way he, he uh, Boston Celtics should have won that game. No way, oh, no. not the no. way that he came back in the fourth. I mean, well, Jimmy Butler came back in the fourth. <laughs> oh my goodness! Yeah, let's talk about that real quick. How about Jimmy Butler's? I mean, he just seemed out of it the first half. Mm-hmm. Just a look on his face. Mm-hmm. I mean, he to me he had like a stone face the entire game, almost like I'm here to take care of business, but no business was not being taken care of. <laughs> It was the weirdest thing, you know, and just think about his court awareness in that that shot uh, over Al Horford. Remember the three pointer in the like corner? It. You didn't like it? I didn't like it. Nope. I didn't like it. I don't like it. I didn't like I didn't like the fact that he he baited for that. He, I mean, this is what this game is, right? I understand mm-hmm. that he, you know, he baits for a foul so he can get to the free throw line. I get all of that. I just didn't like it. It was almost like it wasn't supposed to happen. So it did. And the basketball. Uh, universe was like, because y'all know that wasn't right. I mean, it did uh, because when I was watching, I was like, no, you that wasn't a foul. Did you not see the way he literally jumped in Al Harford's arms? That's what it looked like to me. But I mean, I know they call those types of plays fouls, and I get that. And then to come to find out he was outside of the line, so they counted the three pointer. Yeah, I thought it was genius. Because oh, no, I'm not his... saying it's not. I didn't, I didn't like it, but it worked, it was effective, right? Uh huh. Just because of his court awareness, right? He knew yeah. he had to get behind the three-point line. He right. knew how many points they were down. Right. And he knew that if he was fouled, he was mm-hmm. going to go to the free throw line and make all three shots. Absolutely. Absolutely. That is clutch. So, okay. Yeah. I, I, I can't. I didn't like it, but I get it, you know. Um, and then when I said it, when it happened, in my mind, I was like, well, he, he's great at the free throw line. It's, it's a wrap. I thought it was a wrap. I was like, well, it's a wrap. He's going to get those. He's going to make all three shots. And he made all three shots. But what you always say, no lead is safe. Mm, mm, mm. No lead is safe. Even, even at the, what was it, 2.1, 2.8, or 3.0 mm-hmm. mark, whatever, mm-hmm. however you want the minutes, the, the seconds to be. Not even that? No. Nope. Wow. 
Wow. Yes. That whole sequence. The last two plays of the game. Amazing. It was. Oh. But, you know, um, prior to that, though, I'm just thinking about because everyone's going to focus on Derek White's put back. OK, mm -hmm. that's fine. But if you think about it, Duncan Robinson had two opportunities sure to hit the three ball wide open. We may not have been talking about this had Duncan Robinson hit maybe one or two of those. Oh, yeah. I'm like, oh, my God, you're yeah. wide open. Mm -hmm. You're their best shooter, allegedly. Mm -hmm. What happened there? He shot him long. It clanked both times. I was like, oh, my God, Duncan. Mm -hmm. I said, oh, that's the Duncan I remember. That's, there mm -hmm. he is. That's the one when he did the first time. I said, and he did it again. This is when they need you to shoot them, hit them threes. Duncan, that's why you got the paper. Yes. yes. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Actually, when he hit the first one, or I think he hit one. It was, it was in the fourth quarter, I believe. Or at the end of the third, that one, I said, oh, that's a change. He changed the game because that one he he hit. It was a three-pointer. He hit it. And that's what brought them, I think, maybe two within um, two less than what the um, Boston Celtics had. And I said, oh, that's going to be the game changer right there. And I thought that. And then after that, the Heat kind of picked it up a little bit. And then Jimmy Butler went off, you know, and did his thing in the fourth quarter. I think he had 15 points in the fourth quarter. And mm -hmm. I was like, okay, okay. And then, you know, he was feeling pretty good. And Jackson Robinson banked those other two. I said, <laughs> okay. Yeah, I know. I know. Caleb Martin had a pretty good game. Bam out the bio is going to get some of this smoke this morning. Absolutely. I need Bam to show up. Where was he? Did he disappear on the court? Was he on the court? When I say he was ineffective, I didn't even. You know what? <laughs> That's horrible. Did Was he? Was he on the court? I can't. Oh, it was horrible. Oh, let me tell you. Okay. Let me tell you what would suck the air out of his balloon. <laughs> when Uncle Al went up. Oh, yeah. That was it. When Uncle Al went up and blocked that shot, he wasn't right after that. Mm -mm. Oh, I know. It was almost like, oh, no sense in me shooting that guy. Oh, man, that was a fantastic block from Al Horford. Oh, God. Clean, too. It was all ball. I think that is when he disappeared. <laughs> he said, poof, poof, I'm out. <laughs> I yes, can't believe yes. it. I see. Oh, my God. Go. 36 years old with them mm -hmm. hops. And when he came down, they, you know, put the camera on him as he was going, you know, going down the court. I was like, he don't even look that winded. <laughs> oh, yeah. Shoot. Al Horford. He didn't shoot the ball well at all. I think he went 0 for 2 for 3, scored 4 points total. But you know what, though? Another guy that was, if you look at the box score, appeared to be invisible. But to me, he had a really good physical game was Grant Williams. He got you one point over three from the three-point line. That's his specialty. But to me, he plays some really good physical defense, and all of this doesn't show up in the um, in the box score, in the stat I, sheet. I really wish they would add, you know, as one of the st uh, standing uh, stats, stops. Mm -hmm. <laughs> how many stops did this player get? Because that's exactly where Grant Williams show up. So that's why he's in the game because his defense, he's going to get, he's going to give it. You're going to make you, and you may be able to get a foul off of him, but he's going to try. His effort is unmatched. Oh, absolutely. Unmatched. Yeah. I agree with you 100% on that. So that's why I'm saying you can't look at the box score in all cases and think that that's how the player actually played because some people have, some players have great box scores, but their um, effectiveness on the court was horrible. Mm-hmm. And we and I saw that when I was watching the Lakers series. I'm like, your, your, your stat line looked great, but if you watch the game, you look horrible. So <laughs> sometimes the stats don't really prove it. It's about the stats and the eye test, and you got to watch the game to see that. So yeah. exactly. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So Jason Tatum in classic form, right? Played really well in the first half. Shot. I mean, didn't score a point in the third quarter, and then the fourth quarter had a turnover or two. And I was like, okay, this is this Jason Tatum. This is where you earn your money. And he kind of disappeared from me in the second half of the game. Can't do that in game seven. You know, I can't figure out what it is about Jason Tatum because he had 25. I think he had maybe 25, if not, that was his final box. He had 25 at some point in the, by the end of uh, the first half. And he had 31 points overall. So I just, it's either going to be at the top of the game or he going to be at the, at the end of the game. Mm -hmm. When will he be able to maintain it? Like it's his inconsistency happens during the game. It's so weird. Either, either he starts off slow, ends up in the fourth quarter putting on a clinic or he puts <laughs> the clinic on at the top of the game 
and then he disappears at the end of the game. It's, you don't know what you're going to get from Jason Tatum. And so I'm always on pins and needles with him because yes. he has it. He has the skill. But I don't know what it is about the ebbs and flows that we go through during the game. At least, at least with Anthony Davis, you know he's going to be one-on-one off. I mean, people, somebody <laughs> identified the schedule for him. So, okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh. But for Jason Tatum, you don't really know when that's going to happen. But in, and we're talking about during the game. I just wish he wouldn't do that. Right. Yeah, I, that's definitely a flaw in his game. I think he'll work on it in the yeah, offseason. Of course. But, uh, of course. Uh, Marcus Smart came through again, right? I said, ooh, Marcus Smart, this is who I've been waiting to see. Jalen Brown the same. Now, he started hot. I said, uh-oh, because, you know, you had talked about waiting for Jalen Brown to have a breakout game. And mm-hmm. I thought this may have been it. The way he started the game, he was very aggressive. His, he was making his shots. And it just looked like he had a good energy and focus about himself. I agree. I mm-hmm. agree. I agree. But, you know, when you have, when you're building a team, right, uh, uh, GMs, <laughs> this is for you. When you build a team, you got to make sure you got some solid role players. These role players, are, are, they're really making it happen. I'm just going to have to be honest. And when we're talking about Gabe Vincent, somebody who was not initially supposed to be the starting point guard, when we're talking about Miami Heat, he came in and he is most definitely a game changer because – the heat, the heat looks a lot better when he's on the court versus when he's not because we experienced that because he didn't get a chance to play in game five. And he was able to play in game four, um, game six. Derek White, we brought him in to be a role player. You know, he ended up being a starter. And look what he was able to do. Like, I just mm-hmm. – it is just – the superstars, yes, I get their position. But these role players that are solid – are almost game changing, and if they weren't on the court, these teams, especially Boston and Miami, would not be where they are today. Oh yes, one hundred percent. Caleb Martin just yeah, balling. Right. You know, the announcer said if the series were to end right now, Caleb Martin would get the MVP. Uh, do you believe? Do you do you agree with that? I can see, and yes, I agree with that. Would they give it to him? No, that was all no, talk. yeah. That's what I'm saying. That was all yeah. talk. I mean, it, it sounds good. I I agree, and I think if anybody's gonna be else is gonna be in the running, it's Gabe Vincent. Because I'm sorry, Gabe Vincent and Caleb Martin they held the Heat down for a couple of a couple of matchups. Oh yeah, they did. Oh oh yeah 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 yeah. I know it's Jimmy Butler's thing. I get it. Playoff Jimmy. Jimmy Butler is the Heat, but Jimmy Butler has been flat a couple. Of, he's been flat in these last three games. Mm-hmm. He sure yeah, has. Yeah. Hence is why. Hence is why we're going to Game Seven. Yeah. I don't expect – I don't – what the others are giving is the bonus. Jimmy Butler's supposed to be the one, and he's not. And when he comes through, you hope it's enough, and it doesn't end up being enough in the last three matchups. Mm-hmm. Are we not seeing it? So, I don't know. Yeah, case in point, last night's game. I mean, he didn't start know. playing until there were two minutes left in the game. I'm like, mm-hmm. Jimmy, mm-hmm. where you been? We need mm-hmm. you. Like, I mean – I don't really care who wins this. I think it'll be great. It'll be a great story for the Celtics. Really good story for the Miami Heat. But Jimmy Butler, they need him to show up, though. He talked about in his postgame conference. He said, well, you know, if I play better, we win and I will play better. Well, okay. well, let's see it. Let's see it, you know, from top to bottom. He hasn't played well since game three. I think when he did that little timeout thing for Al Horford, right? That is not looking good right now. Ooh, you don't want that to be the end of your your season. Because every time I'm scrolling through a timeline on Twitter, it, it's showing up. I'm <laughs> like, see, mm-hmm. you don't want that to be that that this is <laughs> when celebrations go bad. Oh, that's yes. the one. Let that be a turnaround. So then it'll make sense if the Heat wins the Eastern Conference Finals. Then you you watch that image of him doing the timeout, then it's cute. But right now, I was like, ooh, that don't look right. <laughs> Back at you. <laughs> no. you know? Yeah, exactly. I know. So game seven, looking forward to game seven. Oh, my goodness. I don't know if my nerves can take it. Oh, game my. It is. <sighs> took me. Oh, my God. So, yeah, game seven, I am on pins and needles. Mm-hmm. Like, and the whole, oh, Nuggets, they, you know, the Nuggets, they're going to be rusty. Oh, Waiting super. around. Yes. Super stiff. 
<laughs> and it's hard to like prepare. If you're the Nuggets, it's like, okay, I got a game plan for the Celtics and I got a game plan for the Miami Heat. Which one are we going to actually practice and, and, and work on? It's so crazy. They almost have to wait until after we are, you know, pretty clear on who's going to the NBA Finals. Yeah, but the NBA Finals start on June 1st. Mm-hmm. Just like two days, right? Oh two days God. after game yes. seven. Mm-hmm. I know, I know. Can you, be- and do you believe that Boston can potentially make history? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I think they could do it. If Jason Tatum can play all four quarters, right? <laughs> right. right. Mm-hmm. What will make history? I knew it was going to happen at some point. <laughs> Oof. Wow, that's amazing. So game seven is on the way. Who you got coming out? Uh, I think Boston will do it. They're yeah. at home. Oh, that crowd. Oh, if the crowd was rocking for game, what game was that? Game five? Yes. Oh, wait till game seven. I cannot wait. I think Boston will make history. What? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. 